Hi, this is James Melendez, James the Wine Guy today, here to share Amarone with you today. Amarone Classico. And so these are examples of Masi Cosa Sera Amarone Classico. Now it's really interesting, I got both of these as gifts. And both of these wines, one is coming from Switzerland right here, and you'll see on the panel here there is no Surgeon General warning. Started enjoying this one, we'll do another video on this one and this one. Now this is meant for the US markets, and uh, uh, this one does have a US Surgeon General warning on the back. Uh, just one of those point outs here that I am always fascinated with. But Amarone, a, a very wonderful wine, great wine tradition, and semi back to the ancient Romans. So you're going to semi dry the wine grapes, and in this example here, these are dried on bamboo racks. So you're going to, to uh, semi dry your wine grapes, and it's a really interesting thing is that, first of all, these are expensive bottles, actually more expensive, relatively speaking. Uh, compared to say to the average bottle of Italian wine and that's just because of the, the quantity needed to make a bottle, a 750 milliliter bottle of Amarone and um, I think that's a really interesting thing so when you think of this uh, two millennia tradition if not longer it's no documentation to say how or who or um, the individual that came up with this idea or if it came up through as many things do by accident uh, but whatever route or method or however it developed is one that's really fascinating because it's held on for some time and it's a wine tradition that first of all making wine is never easy it's always one of those concerns because um, um, time needs to take place in order for the wine to develop and see how it turns out your initial impression may be different from the finished product and uh, Amarone is no different it's just one of these wines that you you take a, a amount of you know finite amounts of grapes in this region and uh, make this into your amarones now for me it's a fantastic wonderful varietal or actually varietals corvina rondenella and molinara and so these wine grapes are really the signature and backbone of this wine I, I really think you get so many different characteristics from this wine it depends on the maker it depends on the vintage just as anything else so if you haven't had an amarone Go to your specialty wine merchant and ask for one. Ask for their recommendation. These are good ones to start off with. So Masi are really nice. Uh, you can find these probably at your better uh, wine provider, wine retailer. And um, something that I really, really look forward to um, often. I think it's as often as I can. Um, I think it's, it's a fantastic tradition of making wine. So we'll talk about these individually. But again, I like to index out into particular headlines so that they're findable online. For more reviews, please go to jamesandwineguy.com. Please subscribe to my videos on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo, and Google+. Salud.